I have CP here. I'm sorry. Right. So I got kicked out. Uh, he got blown on my shirt. MTV Cribs. Let me show you around. Hey. Hey guys, Super Mario 7227 here, and welcome to a Monday vlog. Um, now, if you checked out my Facebook or my Twitter over the last week, then you know why there haven't been videos. But, uh, in case you haven't, like most of the people on this channel, um, it was because it was Jason's birthday on Monday, and um, I felt like taking a break on Monday, and then that meant I didn't have a video for Wednesday. And then, of course, Wednesday rolled by, and it was like, well, I already missed two, well, I should probably not bother with the third, but, and that's why it's Friday and I haven't recorded a single video this week, but uh, I have been dying to record a video, so here we go. Now, I just want to say really quick thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. Uh, we do have some stuff to look at today, so let's just... Okay, everybody, so this is where I sit when I record videos. This is a unnamed brand red and black chair. I guess it's, it's not a DX racer. Like, by any means, but, but, um, it is nice. And then we've got the, the wall background here. As you can see, it's just, whoop, it's the wall, but we've got my nice green screen over it. That's out of tune. Anyway, uh, so we've got one of these blue cubes just holding this up right against the back wheels of my chair. Now, normally I'll have it pushed in all the way to here. Um, and my face just got blocked. Um, and uh, the reason I didn't right now is because I'm not really recording and I really want to be able to move stuff around and if it's pushed back, then I don't know. There's a reason to shish anyway. So let me just move this right back. Shoot, my, my phone's falling off the tripod. Hold on. So let's just start with some of the basic things. Let me just chill on top of the desk. I'm going to end up breaking it. So this is a nice new desk we got in uh, Setup Setupers Part 4. The final Setup Setupers because that was a stupid series. First of all, this is the pair of headset I use. What are you, fucking stupid? Pair of headset, I don't know. This, this is my headset. It's a nice Microsoft LX3000 voice chat. I don't know. Uh, it comes with this little microphone thing, but uh, I no longer use those. This, this little microphone. It's kind of like my backup, backup microphone. And then we've got my Logitech C920 mic, which absolutely is just terrible quality. And then we've got my nice Blue Snowball Ice which is my main mic. I will always be recording with this mic unless it screws up because for some reason the cord doesn't fit. I don't know. There's something wrong with it, but I don't care. It's also got this nice little controller so you can bring up and bring down the volume as you need and you can mute yourself. Now the only problem with this is to use it you have to mute your other speakers and that takes a lot of time to unmute. So when I'm not recording, I won't have these in. I'll just use my headphones, as you saw in one of my Subnautica videos. I'll just plug those into the jack, and I'll just listen to whatever, like, YouTube videos or whatever. <coughs> Sorry, allergy season. I cut myself restringing a guitar, and this really hurts. Okay. Okay, everybody, we're gonna work outwards from the lights to the monitors. First of all, um, let's, let's start with the lights. These are just some... Hold on. I wrote this in a comment one time. Really have this up. Alright, right here we've got an Intratech model GL143L desk lamp. Uh, this is my my second piece of lighting, I guess you could say. That's the second one I use. Uh, up here we've got another Intratech light. This one is uh, GX8077. Uh, that's the model number, of course. And then we've got these lights. I don't really know what they're called. There's some non-name brand, like knockoff, made in China. They come with this nice little remote, and you can change the color. See, made in China. I knew it. Come on. It's like right there. There we go. I just had to move there with the responder. So we got these nice colored lights. They change colors. Uh, you can make them do this. This nice little color thing. Make them jump three colors. That's fly. That's nice, right? As you can see, it does freak out a little bit in the corners because it's. China. So when I'm recording, I will always be using this blue just because it gives a nice contour to the white or to the yellowish white of the lamps, and it matches my keyboard. So this is all being powered by two ginormous plug strips. Uh, I don't know the models of those, unfortunately, but you can go watch us install this whole thing in Setup Setup Part Four. Link is in the description. So, anyways, let's just start right here with this. This is an old. 
old iHome dock. It was on my nightstand and then I got a new one for Christmas. So I put the old one here so I can charge my phone. It's got a nice little rotating screen. And because I have an iPhone 4S, it's perfect for me because it's got that 30 prong charger. And I think I'm getting burned by this light, but I don't care. Next to that, we've got my classic Xbox 360S in black. Um, not many people know this, but this is actually my favorite console ever that I've ever played. This is, this is my go-to. If I'm ever gaming, um, and I'm not PC gaming, I will always be playing on an Xbox. I'm not a PlayStation guy. Um, I've only ever played a PlayStation 2, um, and that was when I was really, really little, so, you know, I can't exactly call myself a, a PlayStation guy, but I've been playing this Xbox for a long, long time, so, uh, I gotta kinda call myself a Microsoft uh, Xbox guy. Speaking of Xbox, we've got this nice custom controller chaos, um, CP Mario colored, uh, controller. It looks pretty nice. I use this to play my Xbox and to play, um, GTA 5 and stuff on the computer using this, what is this called? This is called a Microsoft PC wireless gaming receiver. So you just turn that on, turn this on, and you start playing. Now, chilling right here in between this, this cord for the blue snowball and this Xbox 360S, um, you can't see it. I'll kind of put my hand underneath it. No, you really can't see it. Um, this is a, an Elgato Game Capture HD. This is for, obviously, it's a capture card for recording gameplay on the Xbox 360 to the computer so I can upload it or live stream it or whatever. Speaking of the Elgato Game Capture, I've got this nice, uh, long HDMI cord. Uh, and the reason I have this just chilling is because I have a 30 prong adapter from, I have a 30 prong to HDMI adapter uh, that I can use to plug in my phone to my Elgato game capture and I'll be able to record like mobile games. I have not had a chance to use it yet, um, but hopefully in the near future. I've also got this nice uh, mini Bluetooth keyboard uh, for my Amazon Fire Stick. That's nice. Okay, so right here on top of this January 2016 calendar, I just needed something to put on this. We got my nice microphone. This is a Blue Snowball Ice in white. It's very nice. I enjoy it a lot. So right here we've got my nice keyboard. It is an Aula SI859 backlit gaming keyboard. Um, I love this. I got it two Christmases ago and I have not stopped using it since. Uh, that's actually true. Right here we've got my mouse pad and this says a paperclip can be a wondrous thing and that's a MacGyver quote looking guy. Uh, it's very dirty because I spill things on it constantly. But uh, on top of this is my nice new Aula Ghost Shark gaming mouse. It is amazing. It fits my hands perfectly. I really like it. It's got this nice double click button on the side and then your left right mouse button and then the forward back which if I'm ever gonna have a mouse it's gotta have this forward back button. Alright so now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Uh, this is my computer. It's a Dell XPS 8300 computer. I know that off the top of my head because I always I always have to mention this computer. Um, inside of this it's all stock except for my ATI Radeon graphics card that I put in in order to have three monitors which um, is not the best, honestly. I might actually have to go and buy myself a new one. Don't worry, I will not be making a full-on video about it. Uh, I may be out of ideas, but not that much. Now, I don't know why it's not great, but I can only assume that I bought the cheapest one to fit all three monitors, and that is a no-no when you're, when you want to, uh, be a gamer. So, that was a screw-up. This has, I think, four frontal USB ports, and then I think it's like three or four in the back, um... Just for people who wanted to know, you got this nice little side thing. It's also equipped with a DVD player uh, tray here and a DVD CD Blu-ray tray right there. So that's pretty cool. On top of that, we've got my switcher, which is my, my nice little switcher thing to turn on my keyboard, camera, Elgato, and microphone. Uh, they're all labeled. They have been for a while. Okay, so right here on my dresser, we've got this. I guess it's a, a little Belkin light apparatus switch thing. This turns the power strip with my lights on it on and off. Uh, and I just keep the remote right here. That's a light switch, so I can just turn it on at my turn it off and turn it on at my desk when I need to. Okay, so now we've got these two speaker setup things. We've got a black Insignia set and a white Altec set. This is a very old set. Um, it used to be on my dad's computer at work. Uh, now, now it isn't, but you know. So the reason I have two is this one goes to the computer, and this one goes to my secondary monitor. Um, yeah, don't ask me how, it was Christmas, I was playing Back to the Future at night, and I broke it, and I was like, oh shoot! I don't know, anyway. So that was fun. Okay, so now we've got this nice shelf that my dad built me, and on top of this shelf, we've got some cool stuff. So, this is either made, or bought, or found. 
Uh, we've got this nice tiny tower CP Mario that my brother made me. It's very nice. I love this. I put it right here next to my my white Altec speakers. Now we've got this nice slow. Now we've got this nice slow. I can't say that. Now we've got this nice snow globe. It looks pretty nice, and it's from Providence Town, Rhode Island. Um, when my brother went to Cape Cod, he bought me this, and that's really nice. Uh, so that's it. Let me just. Thank you. Oh, I fell. Now we've got a Rubik's cube. Uh, the reason I have a Rubik's cube here is because it was on my desk. Um, one day, and I solved it, and the reason I have it here is because I love just playing with things in my spare time. Anyway, so that's there. It's all fixed. Right here, call me childish, but we've got these. Jason bought these. They're like Five Nights at Freddy's emojis. We've got a Mad Foxy, we've got a Happy Toy Freddy, and we've got a Happy Bonnie the Boonie. So I just kind of put these here. Uh, again, you can call it childish, but I just needed something to put on my nice, my nice monitor. Now we've got this. This this held candy at one point, but it's it's Darth Vader, uh, because Star Wars is cool. And we've got this nice little this little bobblehead looking guy. It's not a bobblehead. It's like a it was a candy holder thing, and it's cracked. So I just kind of I just kind of leave it on my desk. It looks pretty good. Uh, now we've got this to represent my Minecraft that I used to play. It's my CP Mario Minecraft guy. I don't know. Uh, we're also chilling with the uh, Minecraft T that I actually have in real life. He's dusty. Uh, I guess he has like a cape or something and some 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 things. This is an Ender toy, I think it's called. And he can do some some bending and stuff, and his head can come off. I guess I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep that there, right in front of <clears throat> these. The deal with it glasses. These are real deal with it glasses. And, and right there on the side, in raised lettering, it says hashtag deal with it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me put these back before I break these. It also has hashtag deal with it printed on the um, the nice little case. And that's just a snap case, you can just... Oops. Now, there's only two more things left on my desk. This I made myself. Uh, I guess it's like a little badge that I made. Uh, we ran out of black, so I used red. And I made a little stand for it out of these quick soles. And then, this last thing Jason made me right when he got his little quick soles, I guess they're called. He made me a little CP Mario robot. So I stuck a push pin right here in my, uh, my little desk shelf. So this guy can stand up against... There we go against my uh, my TV, the second monitor. Um, obviously, I couldn't put it against this because it's got the dials. So this is my first TV I've ever gotten. Um, it was in my, my first setup video, it was in my second setup video, and now it's in this setup video. And the reason I have this is because, uh, well, it's in the name. So this is an Insignia 19.5 inch TV DVD combo monitor. And the reason I have a DVD combo monitor when I have a, D a computer -y thing is because this takes up a lot less power that's my computer, so if I ever want to just watch some TV or watch some, some Knight Rider reruns uh, while I'm in bed, I can just stick them in here, uh, turn on the speakers, turn off everything else, and just watch some Knight Rider. Now, right here, this is my main monitor. If you remember from my second setup video, this monitor was over here. It was still my, my main monitor, but uh, when we moved the computer and redid the desk, I flip-flopped them, so. This right here is a Dell S2330MX 23-inch Ultra Slim VGA monitor right here. Uh, this is my main monitor. This was in the uh, the bonus room, that little storage room over down in the down the hall. Uh, so yeah, this is my main monitor. Now, if we take a look up here, boop, boop, boop. we've got this nice white. This is great. This little white cord keeper thing. Uh, and if you remember, we had a lot of trouble with this monitor. This is a giant TV that I got from my grandmother. So if you don't know this story, I'll tell you right now. Uh, I got this monitor right here. This this nice TV. Uh, when my grandmother passed away, it was in her house. It was brand new, and when my dad went to clean out her house, he found it, and he said, Stephen would like that. So, I got this nice new Emerson LF320 EM4 32-inch LED TV from that. Thanks, Grandma. Uh, and this is my, my third monitor. I will watch my... This is hooked up to my TV. I have... I almost knocked that off the wall legit, though. Uh, this is hooked up to my TV. It's hooked up to my Amazon Fire Stick, and it's hooked up to my computer, obviously. So, um, it's a miracle that everything can fit in this, this little tiny cord catcher. So, that's great. Now, like I said before, this is a Logitech C920 webcam. This is what I use to record all my videos with for my face cam. Uh, it's really a pain in the butt because I have to zoom in a lot in order to get the background in, which is another reason why the background is always up against my chair, so you can actually see it. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Now, that's pretty much my setup. I mean, it's, it may not be the best, there are definitely better ones out there, but I mean, for what I need it for, it's absolutely perfect. Um, I love it to death, and I wouldn't change anything about it, except for maybe that graphics card. That that could 
that could use some thing. Oh, and maybe maybe add another hard drive. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, my like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed it, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat to see all the fun things I'm gonna do this week. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm just gonna say it again because I wanna see we're on the road to 200 subscribers. Um, it's been four long years and I finally hit this milestone. It may not be big, but for someone like me who has the problems that I do and doesn't have many, many friends in school, it's like amazing to see that I've grown this little community on the, on the interwebs and there's so many better people out there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys! Bye.